Hi friends, you might be wondering how you can integrate Google Drive and WordPress to show all the files or any selected files, media files, audio or video files at your WordPress website. So as we always use to keep our important files that we always collected over the period of time in Google Drive. And Google Drive has multi multiple space, I mean sufficient space to keep these files in a safe way. So if you want to show these files at your WordPress website, how it can be possible? Yes, it is very simple to show Google Drive files at your WordPress website. So in this video we are going to so we are going to watch what is the best process through which we can integrate the Google Drive with your WordPress website. Let us say if you want to use the Google Drive space for your WordPress website it can be possible. By default we all use almost shared hosting plans. And at shared hosting plans, there is always challenge for disk space. So let us say I am using a shared hosting plan for 2 GB that is having only 2 GB of disk space and I am always trying to optimize the disk space to save my uh, disk space from consuming additional resources. I mean, so always we are focused on saving the disk space and we always used to upload the media files and the media items so it consumes the disk space ultimately and the when your site grows up and your site is growing growing and you used to upload many media files in the media section of wordpress it is going to be full and you have to get more disk space from your hosting provider but yes if you want to use google drive by default as we know google provides 15 gb of space absolutely free of cost and we can use this space directly at your at our wordpress website it is great thing so this is my uh, overview of my google drive and i am going to integrate this google drive to my wordpress website and i'll show you how you can also do this very easily so just watch this video until end and you will be able to integrate the google drive and the wordpress website for your upcoming media files or general files or even video or audio files so I believe you are already a subscriber of this channel if not please subscribe this channel because i am bringing wonderful wordpress, resource, wordpress resources for you and actually you can grow bigger using these resources and the tips that is being presented on the wp themes channel so let us proceed how we can integrate the google drive with the wordpress website so this is the media file and i am not going to upload any further images here i am going to directly integrate my google drive to show media files at my wordpress pages and wordpress posts so okay so let us start first of all uh, i will show you i am going to use a very wonderful plugin called use your drive and this is google drive plugin for wordpress and it has been developed by deliu view and the plugin was actually introduced in 2013 and it is being regularly updated as well so it is a wonderful plugin so um, to integrate the google drive and wordpress and that displays your documents images and media files in a beautiful way directly on your post and pages and you don't need any coding skill for doing so so it is very simple to integrate and use i'll show you how it can be done so I have this plugin already and I'll take you to the back end of this website. This is the website and that we created in the last video and in this we website we are going to 
so the google drive files and i'll show you my google drive as well this is my google drive and i have a folder uh, and i have uploaded three default images in this folder just to show you how i can integrate these images to the website wordpress website so from these this section i mean this google drive these images are going to be displayed on the wordpress website it is very important and uh, very very effective and very good manner to show your images in a very optimized manner so you know the capacity of google drive is always going to be better so okay so let us start and what i'll do i'll uh, use a plugin that is that i shown you this is use your drive and this is google drive so this is a demo of uh, how it looks actually on the wordpress admin i'll show you actually how it is going to work and let us go to the dashboard and i'll upload the plugin first of all i have this use your drive plugin with me and this is the zip file and i'm going to upload this directly using the add new plugin option so this is being the add new plugin and it is very simple so i'll show you step by step just to stay with me Mm, until the end of this video it is really going to help you and upload plugin choose file and here i am going to choose use your drive.zip file and install now and if you want this plugin just follow the link given in the description you will be able to get this plugin so don't forget to click the link given in the, in the description you will be getting multiple wordpress, wordpress resources for your wordpress website so all themes are there multiple plugins are there so you can get wonderful collection of theme by following the link don't don't miss that and yes plugin has been installed successfully and now i'm going to activate this plugin And upon activation first of all uh, this plugin uh, is not linked with any google account authorize the plugin or disable it so first of all we need to authorize the plugin to access the google drive uh, elements so let us authorize this plugin this can just keep logged in that google account and another tab and you can do it easily so this is the setting page uh, of uh, use your drive plugin so this is the setting page this is completely going to be uh, interactive for you and yes so there are many settings i'll show you what actually you can do these settings and it is not this uh, plugin is not limited to so it can be uh, used for dropbox so other plugins are also available by the same author if you want to use um, this uh, i mean use the images or files from your dropbox you can get another plugin that is also available so uh, in this video we are going to use the google drive this is most commonly used so okay so uh, first of all we need to go in the general setting and first of all we need to uh, add account so i'm go, going to this is a demo email don't try to use this email to interact with me it is not going to be used further so this is just an illustration email created for this video only okay so this has been linked simply and this google account has been linked and it is so it does not require any technical skills don't require any api just simply you have to click on add account and it will be linked automatically so you don't worry for that just you need to open the particular google account for which you want to connect the google drive uh, in another tab just in the another tab you can open that okay so now it has been linked and now there are many settings so loading and spinner settings so there are many uh, other settings but first of all um, we are going to watch how we can show the um, all the stuffs and 
like there are many items in this my drive item and uh, this is the images folder in my drive of google account okay so first of all i'll create a new post let us say i'll create a new post and i'm going to use this image at a new post okay so i'm naming it like drive plus word press okay that is so simple and uh, i'll simply click on this and here it is the option of integrating the google drive and if it is not available just simply type the google you will get this icon here and uh, you have simply click on this google drive and okay first of all we need to configure the module where how we want to display and which part we want to display so i simply click on configure module and here okay. so here are the main options so these are the options that i shown you in the setting as well and this is the inclusion exclusion what you want to exclude and upload box file manipulation like you can change the uh, move files and copy files and all, all all the permissions that you want to allow to visitors it is it is simply uh, can be controlled from here and user permissions are also who can see the module so role administrator role so uh, everything can be controlled here so role subscriber and mm, who can preview everyone so this is very important setting so user permissions so you can allow uh, uh, who can see actually these files and just in case if you don't want to show uh, the particular file to every users until they are not logged in you can control from here so if you are uh, uh, allowing them to contributor or customer it the file will be visible to your customers only or uh, booking editor only so whatever may be the role available at your particular website so most of in the most of the cases it is contributor or uh, customer if you are using woocommerce and so shop manager can be so you can control uh, everything that you want to uh, whom you want to show these files so this is very important setting user permissions uh, and you can use these settings similarly notifications file permission options uh, upload box and so these are the advanced most advanced setting available with this plugin and first of all we need to go in the general settings so i am coming back to the main screen so this is the option which file we want to show on the particular page or post okay so i am going to show the media files and photo so just simply click on the photo mm gallery images only so if i select the photo only it is going to show images only you can select audio player video player search box and file browser so everything is available here whatever you want to show you can simply select here and after selecting just hit on update here and the module will be updated okay so again again you have to select which of the images you want to show so we have already uploaded updated the photo gallery and now it is time to show which content we want to show so here in my drive i have already created a folder called images so you can see here so this is the images folder in my drive and i am going back to the so this is the images folder and i have selected this and these images are here even i can select any of the particular image and simply update and module is successfully updated it is so simple it is so simple and now i am going to publish the page even not i am going to preview i am much confident about this so we we can view the post now had po pa post has been published and you can control the spinner and it is here so all three images are on the post it was so simple and it is very effective and it did not consume your 
server space it is using google drive space it is amazing that is it is really going to be very helpful for you you can uh, simply show your all files here if you want to use and uh, directly uh, from your google drive and I, as i shown you you can control everything so tools are here like uh, you can uh, use the per cache and reset plugin options uh, statistics that that has been mm, used so summary email all events logged in with the plugins uh, so you can we use google analytics simply you have to toggle on or off and uh, similarly integrations so you can uh, use social banners like select which sharing button should be accessible while sharing dialogues of the plugin so it is very very interactive way to use the google drive and so you can manage the permissions and load javascript on all pages leave empty files need to be publicly available so on app okay so th these are the settings that if in just in case if you need this feature these settings are uh, available i am just um, overviewing the options so if, if it is ggip compression compression is also available so uh, browser can handle it so you can enable these items as well so ggip compressions it will uh, definitely going to speed your website performance as well so um, these are the options through which you can really Mm, use the google drive and, and show the images or whatever file you want to show on directly on your wordpress website and uh, as i shown you it is really simple to use and uh, here is the output so i believe this is the great plugin and you can simply get this plugin just follow the link given in the description and get this plugin don't don't think overthink it is the best chosen i have seen all the plugin in this category and this is working very fine so you can start using your google drive file directly at your wordpress website so this is really going to be cool for you okay so let us meet in our another video where i am going to bring another wonderful wordpress resource for you keep building keep watching thank you